So I grew up in a small town called Barhead, Alberta, um, farm girl, and uh, went to junior high, high school that was like a combined because it was a smaller town. And in junior high, high school, I got involved in as many sports as possible. Um, our school didn't have like a ton of sports when I started meeting people like from the city. Like there's like, they're like, oh, we have like 15 teams at our school. We pretty much had uh, volleyball, basketball, track and field, badminton, um, and cross country. And I did everything but cross country. <laughs> so I was a jack of all trades. I loved competing. And uh, there, was a, there was a core group of a couple of us that were in a bunch of different teams together. So that was really exciting and really cool. And I had a lot of really great high school coaches that were like super invested in the programs. And we were able to excel and do really well in those programs. I think like high school athletics in combination with like just like growing up on the farm and stuff like that taught me so much financial literacy and adaptability. Um, I started bobsled at the age of 21, which for an Olympic sport um, is a little bit older for bobsled on the younger slash normal side. But having that varied skill background made me very adaptable. It was one of those things that not only like physically did it make me adaptable, but mentally having like different sport backgrounds uh, gave me a lot of, I guess, like resiliency and assets that I, I can rely on now. As a person though, I feel like there's so many things just from like sport, whether it's um, like high school or even like younger than that that um, you learn like in regards to like teamwork and work ethic and all those kinds of things. So right away, I saw that translating into like my studies when I went to university and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, actually, so in grade 12, um, I had the honor of winning the uh, four by 100 meter relay race with my team. And it was kind of a really cool moment because these girls were girls I competed in a couple different sports. And uh, in relay, it was something that we had competed together since junior high. And so to be a small country school, um, there's of course different divisions in high school, but for track and field, everybody's together. So you're up against the biggest schools to the smallest schools in the province. And so for a small school, having a smaller field of athletes, we knew that um, if we were going to do well at provincials, we had to be really good at our exchange zone. And so we worked tirelessly at that for years. And in grade 10, we got bronze at provincial. In grade 11, we got silver at provincials. And then in grade 12, it was kind of like that beautiful crowning moment where we got gold at provincials as a team. And it was just really cool to go through that journey as a group and to work with these ladies for like literally six years on this. <laughs> It's a great opportunity to not only like learn something and push yourself and challenge yourself, which I think is so important, but it's also a great opportunity to just to make friends and to make memories that last a lifetime. Like out of all the people I'm connected to still in high school, I'd say um, it's the people from like my sport experiences where I connect the most and uh, getting to have that shared experience is really cool. And it's also something that like you'll look back on as like, it's it's a smaller life lesson, but it's like, it teaches you resiliency. It take, teaches you hard work and dedication. And it's all these things that years later down the road, uh, you're like, oh yeah, I learned that at a young age, like because of sport. And I had fun learning that thing. You learned it the fun way, not the hard way. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised um, because I'm still competing as an athlete um, in the sport of bobsled. It's one of those things that you don't think of that would happen until maybe like, oh, I'm retired and 10 years down the road or something. So it's really cool to get recognized um, for like a sporting accomplishment uh, at, at, at this point in my career. And also looking back, I think um, it's cool because high school sports means a lot to me. I actually had the opportunity to volunteer at a couple different like track meets and stuff like that. Um, these last couple of years, not this year because of COVID, but um, it's cool because it's, uh, it, it just, I guess it's, it's a recognition of like where I've come and where I'm at and where I'm going. And so I think it, it mean it does mean a lot to me because without those high school sports, like I got recruited to run track and field at a university level because of high school sports, because of my provincial track and field uh, ASAA meet. And I didn't think coming from a small town, that wasn't something even on my radar. I didn't know people that had done that. I knew a couple people, our school was really good at volleyball that had gone on to play volleyball at a post-secondary level, but they were also playing club. And so literally uh, ASAA, like my sporting career in high school, 
launched me into a sporting career in post-secondary, which launched me into a sporting career with Team Canada. And so to get to, I guess, have like share and celebrate this award and that journey is really cool. And it's an honor. <laughs> so thank you guys. My high school sports career and that foundation that it laid wouldn't be possible without the high school coaches and my parents who tirelessly drove in from the farm almost every day <laughs> until I got my license uh, at the age of 16 uh, to pick me up from practice. And uh, like I said, I had some really great high school coaches that went above and beyond to invest in their athletes. And you could tell that this wasn't just like a sad project. It was, it was like a passion project for them to coach these teams and they had a wealth of knowledge. And so uh, specifically, I wanna thank uh, Mr. Becker who also had nominated me for this. He was my high school volleyball coach. I want to thank the Lamas. They were my um, high school and junior high track and field coach, as well as my junior uh, volleyball coach. And I have so many other coaches along the way too that made those things possible. And like I said, to my mom, especially, she was the person that was usually playing shuttle um, back and forth for practices for making that a possibility. Like that means so much to have parents that um, were willing to make that investment of their time and, and their finances to do that. So. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and thank you to you guys for this award. I actually had gotten the milk scholarship um, that you guys have in 2010, uh, following my high school graduation. So you guys have kind of been a, a part of my journey through like this whole thing. So that's really cool um, to have this as well. So thank you.